Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. Today, I will show you how to update your graphics card. Today, we're going to update the drivers of an AMD graphics card. Search up Device Manager. It is available in all Windows editions. On this computer, however, you can see that it's not really specified what graphics card there is, only the family of the graphics card. If this happens for you, right-click the graphics card and select Update Drivers, and select Search Automatically on the Internet for appropriate drivers. Let the drivers and install, and you should now see what model the graphics card is. Now that we know that we have the 5650, we can go back to the page. There we have it. Now we can click Submit. Then you need to know if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operative system. Now it's a little bit different for different versions of Windows, but what you basically do is you find My Computer, you right-click on it and you select Properties. Here you can see system type 64-bit operative system scroll down to your os distro when you found your operative system you have your choice of catalyst or crimson most people seem to prefer the catalyst edition since it's more lightweight according to some users and since i'm on the low end system i'll definitely choose the catalyst edition then we can run the file Select your language and click Next. We have Express and Custom install. Always choose Custom. If there is some of this you don't need, you can uncheck it. If you don't know, leave them checked. And of course accept. The install should now proceed and complete by itself and you should now have nice running drivers. However, if you had any issue you can try two things. You can try to select a Radeon Software Crimson Edition instead. This driver in this case is a little bit newer. In any case, you also want to try and run the file ad as an administrator. By doing that, you select Save As. When saved, you right-click it and select Run as an administrator. And there you have it. Begin the installation process. Now it asks you, automatically download the latest drivers. This will install a software that will check for drivers and download and install them automatically. This steals a little bit resource power, but if you think it's worth it, check that box. Otherwise, uncheck it and install your drivers manually, which is something I'd recommend. If you don't want something here, you can uncheck it. Otherwise, if you don't know, just leave them all and click install. Well, I hope that this tutorial helped you installing your graphics drivers. And well, if this video did help you, then please leave a like down below and do subscribe for more future videos. Also, if you have any other problems with graphics drivers or any other computer problems, please do check the Tech Tutorial playlist. This is Jimmy Desm, Total Nerdery Channel, officially signing out.